I need to take tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install my mapping for tractor for the DDJ 1000. This mapping is quite complex because it uses BOM. It is it has features that are not possible with tractor alone. So I'm going to make a step-by-step -step guide in this video to show you exactly what to do, how to install the mapping. So uh, to to start, uh, go to maps.dj.tools.com. Here in controller, go to Pioneer DDJ 1000, which is here. And my mapping is the one with the most downloads. Thanks for that. And the first, this is a summary. The first thing is that you need to register and verify your email to be able to download. I don't have this site. Uh, it just hosts my mapping. For that, you need to register. I'm already registered and verified, so I sign in. And once you sign in, then you can download. Every single day I get questions about this. Uh, you have to register and verify your email, please. If it doesn't work by whatever reason, try later, try with, with a different browser. That's the first step. Second step is to um, see the, the file that you just uh, downloaded, is this one, extract it, and uh, here you go, extract here. And I'm going to cover what files are on the, on the, um, on the folder. Uh, here, this is the mapping itself, the, the, the mapping for tractor, the, the mapping for BOM, and the settings for BOM. Then you have two PDFs. The quick overview is a summary, quick summary of all the features. It has a lot of stuff here. And the detail, detail manual has every single function. It has the videos uh, where I show the functions uh, by, by version. And then every single feature, every single function, everything here. So that's the, the manuals. Then on installation help, the installation guide is this file that you are seeing. This is the one we are going to cover step by step to install. And the, frequent, the FAQ is questions that I get very rarely. Uh, and please read it before asking. On this folder, all the installation guides is the last guides made by Pioneer. As you know, Pioneer uh, is, not, is no longer making tractor mappings. I'm maintaining them. And this is how to install the mapping in, uh, in tractor. It doesn't cover BOM because it didn't exist. Uh, this uh, uh, more complex mapping. Uh, but this is a, a good summary, a good reference if you need help. Then on these uh, support files you have here, I'm not going to open these, but technical information, how the mapping is done, if you want to extend it. You have a specific version for the DJ800. Uh, and the source of all these PDFs is here. So let's go back to the installation guide. That's what we want. So the first uh, step is to confirm that record box works in performance mode. Uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can activate the trial. Right now, the DJ1000 unlocks the record box, so it's even e simpler. Confirm that everything works in particular, that you can, uh, um, you can run this utility and confirm that you have the latest firmware available and the latest driver. This is the buffer. Okay. So this is step zero, confirming that record box works. The step, the, the first uh, part is how to install the BUM trial. Note that you can try everything on this video for free. You can try tractor for free. You can try the BOM for free. And both will work for half an hour or something and then stop. This is more than enough for you to show, to see that you can install this mapping, that the mapping is useful before you do, you buy BOM, before you buy tractor. So please try these 
at the shop, at the friend's place. If you already have the 1000, uh, uh, you, are, uh, you are using record box right now. If you want to try tractor, go ahead uh, and try use the trials. So I'm going to install this in front of your eyes to show you exactly what you need to do. So you go to bulk.com. Products MIDI Translator Pro. And here you get a download of the trial. 1.8.4. I already have this here downloaded. The trial. And I'm going to install now. So. Custom. Accept. Accept. Install it at the default. Install everything. Install virtual MIDI driver. Definitely. And then say yes. Auto start with Windows. Absolutely. Um, so that you uh, so that it uh, starts before tractor. So it's installing, and you launch. Okay. Trial time twenty minutes. Wait five seconds here. Now, for the macOS, you have to um, add BOM to your privacy uh, um, settings. And this is not required for Windows, only for macOS. And this is the screenshot from Mac. You go to security and privacy, privacy, accessibility, and add BOM to this list. I don't have a Mac, so I cannot show you this live. The, the step, the, the second step is to install the, the um, so BOM is already running here. Let's, uh, this is the trial. Let's put this here. And let's install the mapping. So you stop tractor and record box and all these things. You expand the files. You connect the, the cable and turn on your DDJ. I already have this running. And now you go to the settings. And import the settings file. So I'm here where the mouse is. So you go to MIDI, to go to here to the settings. Here, import, export, 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 import, import. And then you give it the settings file that you just got from your download. Bomb site settings. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, in this version, I didn't yet put auto start window, window with Windows. Do that so that it uh, uh, will help you later. When I finish, uh, when I make the next version, I'm going to for sure put auto start with Windows. Okay. Now, next next step. Load the mapping file. You open the mapping side, so don't mix up the mapping of the BOM side with the settings, different things, and load the mapping like this. Okay, and now I'm going to how to verify this thing. So this is on the pictures that I just showed you. And, and you have this cross between DJ and tractor, from tractor to DJ. And now to verify uh, what, what we do is confirm the settings, confirm the, the ports are open correctly, the control attacks to BOM, the clock is running, and minimize it. So I'm going to do, do this step by step. First, you go to the settings and say auto start with Windows. Then you go to virtual MIDI points and use one port, long port names. This is correct. And now you close this and go to the log and see these messages. Open MIDI port, virtual in, virtual out. And now what you do is you press, you add MIDI in, 
let me out and now I'm pressing the keys on the controller and it's alive this is how it's supposed to be and when you press the this is the midi in midi out when you press the rules you should see a lot of messages because that's the internal clock Hertz it's getting up as you can see and I'll click rules to stop this and this is done for the bone side now let's continue for the tractor side you just minimize bone and leave it running now let's open tractor I'm using the latest beta by the way 3.3 .3. so let's put this guy here uh, like this okay So, the first step is to create a backup because I'm going to replace all your settings and I want to, that you can go back, be sure that you can go back, so really, really slowly, go to, to, go to your settings, click export, select everything by hand and save it. So let's save it on the same place. A backup tractor. You should don't do backup tractor as its own backups automatically. This is on your root folder if you need it. And now let's install. So you go to import and go here to the tractor side mapping and add. If you are on Windows, you can add audio device That's, that will add you the, the, the DJ. If you are on Mac, this will not do anything. And, but I'll show you what to do in a moment. So and now you select everything. Please don't change anything. Please accept my effect, in particular four effect units, because I use all the, all the four effect. I, I use a specific list. Please use the other preferences because there is more stuff about layouts and uh, about uh, uh, tempo sync and so on. The good layouts, please accept them because I use this for the parallel and classic uh, waveforms and so on. So now it loaded the mappings, all of these, and the first thing, you and, and now the, the next step is to install Tractor a second time. Why this? Because there is a, an extremely annoying tractor bug since forever where the, the list of effects is not loaded correctly only, only on the second time. So what you do is you load this again, twice. And now your effects list, now it's correct. It needs to be exactly like this with the macro. This is the default F tractor at uh, Pro 2 when they added the macro effects, 2.6 I believe. And you need to have this list. And now, uh, let me go. Um, uh, and now you go. If you are on a Mac, uh, you select here. Let, let me go step by step. Here you select the, the the your device. So this was the backup. Import. We already been here. Second time. Okay. And now I'm going to verify this. So I'm going to step by step on the audio setup confirm you have the DJ 1000 on the routing confirm you have internal and in Windows is 3412 if you have a Mac you need to change it by hand to 2301 like this then you go to the input which is uh, 1 to 12 on the mix recorder so that so that you are able to um, uh, record the effects from the mixer do external and do FX send which is the one that we just connected uh, uh, configured here so FX send corresponds to 11 and 12 and now we go to the uh, more tricky part right now it's completely well configured 
without doing anything, but I'm going to show you. Don't change anything here. So click, clicking here, you'll see a lot of pages. Why so many? Because Tractor only supports eight variables per page and I need a lot more than eight variables. This will make your preferences uh, window go slow. I already found why this is the case. It's because there is thousands and thousands of default entries which are not used. Even on a single, completely single mapping, there is thousands and thousands of entries. I already reported this to Tractor, but they didn't even answer. Anyway, you'll get all these pages because of the eight variables, and all of them need to point to BOM MIDI Translator 1, and this is really important. Do not put DDJ1000. That's a normal way to install mappings, not here. What happens here is that Tractor is talking to BOM, BOM is talking to the DDJ. It's a man in the middle. And if you do this like I'm showing, you don't have to change anything. All of them are to the BOM MIDI translator in long format. And now uh, you can you you I'm already seeing these things work. And this is working fine. The music like this. The and so on. So to confirm now that things are working, if things are not working, uh, to verify, now what you need to do is to go to the bidirectional flow you'll see a lot of traffic and now when you press something confirm stop the rules and confirm that you have bidirectional input for example in this example for here i'm getting this message which is going sent from the dj1000 goes to the virtual device and then tractor uh, answer something back that is uh, now in this case um, this is not a good example let me find a better a better example um, there is here uh, traffic that comes from the, the the virtual device for example this one here that comes from Tractor and is converted to several messages to BOM. So you want to see in and out all the combinations. This is what the screenshot shows. Regarding the sequence, if you have problems, is you should stop everything and uh, start the laptop. In the worst case, reboot. Start the laptop, start the DJ, start BOM if it's not yet out of starting with Windows and then start Tractor. So some tips if it's the not working, reconfirm that you have the right audio device and the right routing and reconfirm that record box performance mode works. This is for if the audio doesn't work. If the audio works but not MIDI, then confirm that you have the BOM in the accessibility security and that you have the MIDI translator in all the six pages in Tractor. If MIDI works on one direction only, that's typically a case of a bad uh, sequence where BOM is confused. So stop everything and start the laptop, the DJ, BOM and Tractor by this sequence. Start Tractor last. You can also reset the jog screens using Shift plus Quantize. Let me show you this. So when I press shift and quantize, okay, nothing really happens here on the screen, on the laptop screen, but right now uh, the, everything is reset on the bombs uh, sequence. So you'll see a lot of traffic. Let me shoot the rules, for example. When I press shift and quantize, it, it is going to restart everything on the bomb side. I hope this is useful for you. 
please make make any comments on this video and enjoy the mapping <laughs>